God is a huge God. He wants to care for his people and his children, mm -hmm. and he has given us that task, the world that task. Yeah. Whether you're Madonna or whether you're Joni mm -hmm. Gooley, mm -hmm. uh, it is there for the doing. Ethiopia has become a fertile ground for international adoptions. It's estimated 30 children leave the country a week. Across the city, hotel foyers have become clearing houses, departure lounges for many families and their adopted children. This is the scene in just one hotel in Addis Ababa. And the website YouTube is plastered with new parents' home movies. <laughs> The crude reality is that children have become a big Ethiopian export. A child welfare agency here estimates international adoptions are generating revenue for the government of around $100 million a year. But the government is showing no sign that it's willing to jeopardise that income for the sake of the children. Ethiopia is not a signatory to the Hague Convention, which requires international adoption be used only as a last resort. So as a result, a completely unregulated industry has grown up. More than 70 agencies operate here, almost half are unregistered. Corruption, fraud and deception are rife. The unscrupulous practices of this industry alarm one of the country's top human rights lawyers, Mahari Maru. I have heard several words which I don't accept in these adoption processes. Harvesting is one of them. It's completely wrong that uh, you harvest a child for adoptive parents. If you want your child to be adopted by a family in America, you may stay. If you do not want your child to go to America, you should take your child away. This active drafting of children from families for the international adoption market is harvesting. We know that you love your children. And the American agency Christian World Adoptions, or CWA, is one of the most active. Here, a CWA staffer is seen recruiting children in a remote village in Ethiopia's south where evangelical Christianity prevails. These are two cute brothers. There are five million orphans in this country, but few here. Most of these children have parents. Maragano has some kind of infection on his face. The mom says that it can clear up somewhat. Child by child, family by family, they roll up for their photo opportunity and what amounts to a sales pitch by the CWA staffer. This is Tigang. He's a little abandoned child. And this kind man and his wife have taken him in and are helping him out, but he needs a family. We think he's about three years old. CWA's sales pitch is mailed across the United States to families inquiring about Ethiopian adoptions. Californian couple Lisa Bow and her husband Frank chose Tegegni Bakera from CWA's January 2007 DVD catalogue. They run about six to eight hours and I sat and watched every child. There was one little boy and he was introduced as a, an abandoned child who was looking and needed a mommy and he was just this tiny beautiful little boy, big eyes and he looked just horrified and I just fell in love with him. Lisa Bow was assured, guaranteed, that the little boy was an orphan. But it didn't take long before she had doubts. There was a picture of the people that had found him. And there's a man and a woman in the picture. I point to the woman and he calls her mama. I would have never, never brought home a child that has a mom, never. I didn't uh, understand clearly what was happening 
then because I was an employee and I was there to obey and to do what I was told to do. And when I see today, it is completely unacceptable because you cannot go to the community and announce, oh, we are here today to talk about adoption. The children are in their community. They need to be supported there first. Yob Kocha quit his job at Christian World Adoptions in December 2007 after more than a year with them. He's still in the international adoption business and runs an orphanage in Addis Ababa. It was considered good for the children in the community and the people came so they were informed that they would go to America they would live with families there was no information before that time there was no information after that did their parents realize that they were now legally someone else's children <laughs> 